So I'm building a beer cooler. The idea is that we have a Peltier device down here, which will cool a beer, hopefully in under five minutes, from battery power. So, I've got a thermally insulated container. It's a litre thermos, which will hold the beer while it's being cooled. And this piece of copper is going to get machined round and put in the lid and have some plumbing pipe soldered to it. Probably 10, 15 centimetre lengths of plumbing pipe, which will drop down in there and transfer the heat out of the beer. In theory, that should have enough surface area to get all the heat out. So, it's coming out of the, out of the beer and into the copper and out of the copper through the Peltier device into the heat exchange on the top. This thing doesn't even warm up to the touch. The flow rate through is high enough that even with 300 watts of heat energy flowing into it, it's staying cool, which is pretty impressive. Now, the, with 300 watts of heat output coming out of this thing, there's no way that piddly little radiator is going to keep up with it. So. The idea is this is designed for intermittent use. You cool the drink, then you drink it. We have a heat reservoir. So there's five litres of water in there with a little submersible aquarium pump pumping the water around the system. That pump and that fan run all the time. So in the gap between drinks, this water is coming back down to room temperature again. It, it only goes up by five or six degrees, according to the maths, over the five minute run, so it should be reasonable. What you can see here is a copper plate, which my finger just stuck to it, is is just starting to form ice now. The, the condensation on it's just beginning to freeze. Um, it's only been going about two minutes, three minutes, and it's um, it's already freezing the water on the copper. Now, I'm going to go into a lot more detail about Peltier devices, but... Um, Unfortunately, the greater the temperature difference across them, the less well they work. So as this thing brings the temperature on, on this plate down to it's probably about negative 4, negative 5, might be a bit cooler than that by now, the temperature difference across it is likely 25, 30 degrees now. And um, we'll take a look at the data sheets in a minute and see that that means that they just stop being very good. So one of the, ad one of the advantages, in a way, of, of, of using this to cool a drink is even though we're pulling loads and loads of energy out of that drink, the temperature differential isn't going to be huge. It's just going to be, you know, four degrees for the temperature of the beer and then room temperature, whatever that happens to be. So summer day, that's going to be 20, 21 degrees, maybe a little bit higher if, uh, if we're lucky. So we should get a reasonable performance out of the Peltier. Anyway, the electronics are just super simple at the moment. This is a really cheap eBay boost converter. I think this was five pounds. And that is a step up power supply that's rated for 15 amps that will go from like eight to 35 in to eight to 35 out, but the output's regulated. So, and the output must be higher than the input. So what we're doing with it here, it's just resting on the fan to keep cool because it warms up a bit. We're putting 15 amps through the Peltier at the moment, um, which is coming from a car battery down here. So car battery comes up through cables into one of these XT60s so I can turn it off quickly, which goes into boost. Boost's outputting 13 volts, so as the battery discharges, the output stays the same. Runs parallels off Peltier, sump pump, and fan. Really, really simple system. In, the in theory, it would be much better to drive the Peltier device with constant current rather than constant voltage. Uh, in that mode, we can continue to really drive the heat transfer that we're looking for, despite um, changing changing voltage across the device, which which is which the uh, voltage is proportional to the temperature difference. Uh, however, at the moment, I'm just doing a really simple test, and constant voltage works. It's it's less efficient, but it works. I've got a version of this board which has a constant current output, uh, which is currently broken, uh, as most cheap electronics seem, from eBay seems to be when it arrives, but um, we'll get that going and come back.